Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through exponents and powers. Now, we know some laws of exponents. For any non-zero integers, a and b, a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n equals a raised to m plus n a raised to m divided by a raised to n equals a raised to m minus n a raised to m multiplied by b raised to m equals a multiplied by b whole raised to m a raised to m divided by b raised to m equals a by b whole raised to m a raised to m the whole raised to n equals a raised to mn a raised to zero equals one where m and n are integers Today, we will see some application problems. Evaluate. 2 raised to minus 1 plus 3 raised to minus 1. The whole raised to 2. Here we can write 2 raised to minus 1 equals 1 by 2 and 3 raised to minus 1 equals 1 by 3. Since a raised to minus n equals 1 by a raised to n. Therefore, 2 raised to minus 1 plus 3 raised to minus 1, the whole square, equals 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3, the whole square, equals 3 plus 2 divided by 2 multiplied by 3, the whole square equals 5 by 6 the whole square since a by b the whole raised to m equals a raised to m divided by b raised to m then 5 by 6 the whole square equals 5 square divided by 6 square equals 25 by 36 that is 2 raised to minus 1 plus 3 raised to minus 1, the whole square, equals 25 by 36. Let's move to another example. If 10 by 3 multiplied by 3 raised to y minus 3 raised to y minus 1 equals 81, find the value of y. Given 10 by 3 multiplied by 3 raised to y minus 3 raised to y minus 1 is equal to 81. 10 multiplied by 3 raised to y divided by 3 minus 3 raised to y minus 1 equals 81. By applying a raised to m divided by a raised to n equals a raised to m minus n. We get 10 multiplied by 3 raised to y minus 1 minus 3 raised to y minus 1 equals 81. Since 3 raised to y minus 1 is common in both terms, we can rewrite it as 3 raised to y minus 1 multiplied by 10 minus 1 equals 81. That is, 3 raised to y minus 1 multiplied by 9 equals 81. 3 raised to y minus 1 equals 81 by 9, which is equal to 9. We can write 9 is equal to 3 square. Then 3 raised to y minus 1 equals 3 square. Here both LHS and RHS have the same base. 
so the exponents are also equal. That is, y minus 1 equals 2. Therefore, y equals 2 plus 1. That is, y equals 3. Let's see another example. Find the value of the expression. 8 raised to 0 minus 3 raised to 0 multiplied by 8 raised to 0 plus 3 raised to 0. It is given that 8 raised to 0 minus 3 raised to 0 multiplied by 8 raised to 0 plus 3 raised to 0. We know that for any non-zero integer, a a raised to zero equals one. Therefore, eight raised to zero minus three raised to zero multiplied by eight raised to zero plus three raised to zero equals one minus one multiplied by one plus one equals zero multiplied by two equals 0. That is, 8 raised to 0 minus 3 raised to 0 multiplied by 8 raised to 0 plus 3 raised to 0 equals 0. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Simplify. First, 2 raised to minus 1 multiplied by 5 raised to minus 1 the whole raised to minus 1 divided by 4 raised to minus 1 second 12 raised to 8 divided by 12 raised to 7 and third 3 by 7 the whole raised to 0 multiplied by 7 by 6 the whole raised to minus 3 That's all for now. See you all in the next class.